my beautiful sisters and brothers. Thank you, Reverend Annie. Before I start my testimony, I just want to say, you know, how God brought me through this journey because um, leaving work and doing those classes were very hard. I, could, I was no good to myself in the evenings when I come home, but the Lord allowed me to go to work early, sit on the stairs and study my work. I would study on the bus. When I, I reach on the stairs, I would start doing my homework and the Lord would just start to impart so many things to me, things that I didn't even know about myself. This is the beginning of my testimony. School of Prophetic Intercessory Warrior 3 in 1 certification course, my testimony. I want to thank God for allowing and helping me to answer the call to ministry. Thank you, Lord, for my life and the breathe, um, the breath, your fresh breath into my lungs. My life could have turned out differently, but you place spiritual mentors to guide me on the right path. I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be connected to the light of the comfort of ministries. Through that, this ministry, I have learned a lot about myself, how to, be, to, how to better handle situation and, and to get healed and delivered in every area of my life. I want to especially thank Reverend Annie for being the powerful woman that she is in Christ Jesus, empowering men and women from all walks of life and, to the, and the universe to serve the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth, to dispel the spirit of darkness and to eliminate the light of Jesus Christ in our lives. I thank God for, for her and the team for working tirelessly in helping Reverend Annie put together those classes for God's people to be delivered and set free in the name of Jesus. My God, continue to bless. May God continue to bless you, Reverend Annie, and your team, and their families, and your family abundantly. When I started this, the three-in-one school, I lacked confidence. It was out of the window. I felt intimidated by my peers. I asked myself, what am I doing there? I'm not worthy to be part of those classes. I allow the enemy to speak those lies into my ears. Reverend Annie started calling out those lies, having us renounce them and repent. I was scared. Because I thought to myself, how can she have read my mind? But the Holy Spirit was speaking through her. I showed up for classes every time with fear in my heart and scared. But the key to my deliverance was showing up for classes every time, even when I didn't feel like it. Sorry, my testimony is a little long. <laughs> in the free in one class, School of Spiritual Gifts and Holy Spirit, School of Prophecy and Discernment, and School of Prophetic Intercessory Warrior, my life began to change. God started cleansing my heart from all hurt, trauma, hatred, pride, bitterness, victim mentality, all types of fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of losing my child, fear of losing my sister, fear of how I would be able to manage, and the list goes on. Shame was my biggest enemy, but God stepped in and shattered the stronghold of shame over my life. The enemy had me bound and oppressed. But God delivered me from them all. Psalms 34, 19 said, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. Who the Son sets free is free indeed, and I'm a living testimony of that. I saw the hands of God deliver me from all spiritual oppression, from sickness, pain in my body, disasters. As soon as the enemy came upon me as, like a flood, the Lord delivered me instantly. Hallelujah. Literally speaking, the enemy did come in, upon me like a flood. 
I had experienced a flood in my apartment June 8th, 2021, when I lost almost everything. I was traumatized. Ooh, I had panic attacks. I was pressured by my landlord to leave the place. God allowed the favor of my current job to bless me financially, the former job to give me a temporary stay at her home, and my church sisters allowing to, me to stay with her until I get a place. The overwhelming support of prayers from Light of the Comforter, Reverend Annie and her team, my prayer group, church, family and friends, God delivered me. My daughter tried to commit suicide on my birthday, March 29, but God sent his angel of light to shut the mouth of death over her life. Thank you, Jesus. My sister was very sick to the point of death, but God delivered her too. Hallelujah to Jesus. My body started breaking down because of constant stress. But God healed my body every time. I was stricken with COVID-19 on March 15, 2021, when I was interviewed for a new job, which is my current job. I felt that it was it. I wasn't going to live. But God delivered me swiftly from this too. No trace of COVID was found in my lungs. Thank you, Jesus. In the midst of all of this, I had to call the job I was interviewed for and then let them know that I was tested positive for COVID-19. As I, as I came into contact with them, but instead they hired me. That is only the power of God. Hallelujah to Jesus. God showed up every time the enemy tried me, tried to keep me down. My God is amazing. He is a strong tower. He is my stay and he was my deliverer and healer. Psalms 18 2 says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Hallelujah to Jesus. I saw the power of God upon my life and my family. Healing me emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially through those classes. Philippians 1, 8 said, Being confident of this very thing, that he which have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. God has started a good work in me, and I know he's able to complete it. I have never felt such freedom in my life with those classes. God has replaced all my fears with his peace and his presence. He gave me joy unspeakable and full of his glory. I learned to pray when I feel afraid and anxious. I'm almost there. I thank God for all those small groups, free in one school, setting the captives free, sword of the spirit, beautiful ashes, resilient leaders, wholeness and rest restoration, which helped me regain my self-confidence, keeping my heart in check every day, accepting my identity in Christ Jesus, learning to love myself and others. Most importantly, having a connection and intimate relationship with God. Acknowledging who I am, who he is in my life. Acknowledging who he is in my life and living life to the fullest, what God intended for all of us his children. I thank God for all the amazing sisters and brothers who made those classes possible and enjoyable. Those classes made us laugh, cry, scream, and oh, mourn. I watched my sisters and brothers get delivered like myself. We made mistakes and there was a no judgment zone. I encourage new students to take advantage of those classes, it will change your life forever. My God, continue to bless each and every one of you. Love you all. And I bless you with the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen.